2022 was rough. I needed it. It helped me learn some things, but I'm glad it's almost over. I had so many goals that I wanted to get done, but life just happened. As we transition from 2022 to 2023, there's currently a lot of uncertainty in the economy and job market, which can be a source of stress and anxiety. But one thing I always do is at the end of the year, I create my learning and career goals for the upcoming year. I sit down and look back at my achievements, goals that I may have missed, and if those goals are still even important to me. Look at my overall career goals and see if that's changed at all. Often people start out thinking they want to do one thing in tech, and when they finally get a taste of it, they realize they don't like it at all. So I think it's important every year to create a game plan of not only your career goals, but how you plan on achieving them. Now, we're not talking about New Year's resolutions because we all know those things never work out. Now, in 2022, I wasn't as intentional with my goal setting as I should have been, but the last few years, frankly, sucked. Like, one of my main goals was to get my Linux Plus certification, and I didn't even get halfway through the study material for the exam. With that said, I accomplished a lot of long-term career goals that I had. I became Director of Network Operations. I picked back up the camera and started creating YouTube videos again. This year, I want to get more laser focused with my goals and come up with a game plan in a way I can check myself if I start falling behind. Now, your goals are going to be different than mine. I mean, if they're the exact same. That would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? If you're new to tech and you're not sure which direction you want to go, CBT Nuggets has a great five question quiz to help guide you based on your personality and interests. If you already know what interests you, you can check out the career path certification recommendations to give them an idea of what certifications you should be working towards. I'll make sure and link up that page in the description below. Now, I had planned to obtain the Linux Plus certification last year, but I was unable to find time to study for it. This year, I'm going to make it a high priority on my goal list. I'm going to do things such as schedule time to study, setting milestones along my study path to make it easier to stay accountable. You see, one problem with New Year's resolutions is that people either set the wrong kind of goals or fail to define the end result they are working towards. For example, someone might resolve to work out every day, but without a specific target in mind, such as wanting to reach a certain level of fitness or weight, it can be difficult to measure your progress and stay motivated. On the other hand, someone might set a lofty goal like making six figures in tech or becoming a director of network operation. Without a plan on how to achieve these objectives, it can be easy to lose sight of the steps needed to get there. To be effective, year-long goals should have both an action and a goal. Let's spend a few minutes working together on my list of actions and goals so I can show you what I'm talking about. And I encourage you to do the same after this video is over. And let me know what you come up with down in the comments below. Now let's start off with my career goals and my YouTube goals. So like I said earlier, this year I'm gonna get my Linux Plus as one of my career goals for this year. Which if you're getting into tech, I feel you should have at least two certification goals each year depending on the certification. Now, okay, action item, how am I gonna achieve the Linux Plus this year? Well, I'm gonna study three days a week for at least 30 minutes a day. Now, I could go longer if I'm really getting into a topic, but at bare minimum, I'm gonna dedicate three days a week when I'm home studying for at least 30 minutes at a time. Okay. Another action I am for this is to create flashcards and use them at least twice a week. And remember, it's okay if your list is not perfect right away. Just take the few steps and build momentum. You can always refine and finish it later. Okay, and finally, I'm gonna take periodic practice exams to measure my progress and my exam readiness. Practice exams are a great tool and I'm actually in a future video gonna dive into them a bit more. Now let's talk about some of my YouTube goals. I always say each year that I'm going to take my channel more seriously this year, and that's normally the case for the first few months, but I always end up slacking off. Now, in my defense, the last few years were rough. I was dealing with depression and anxiety, and a bunch of life changes were going on, but I realized that was never going to stop. Currently, we're in the process of buying a new house. If that goes through, we're going to be building a brand new studio, and there's some 
potential YouTube opportunities that I'm working on that will take up even more of my time and attention. But I realize that I can't let life stop me from accomplishing my goals. YouTube is really important to me. I get a lot of joy from helping you guys progress your career and I want to do more of this in 2023. So one of my goals in 2023 is to hit 10,000 subscribers. Which speaking of subscribers, have you subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? Here, we'll pause for a few seconds so you can do it right now. Have you subscribed? Great, let's move on. Now, one of my action items for this is to post consistently and release at least one video a week. Another action item for this goal, is I want to start live streaming on the same day and same time every week. I don't know exactly when that will be yet, but I know it's one of the things I want to start doing. Another action item is to do more collaborations with other YouTubers, people in the tech field. I know I'm not an expert and I never will be. And that's why I enjoy bringing fresh views and ideas onto the channel. To help bring useful information to you guys. Now, speaking of goals, if you are studying for any certifications, one great tool is to utilize online e-learning platform. Like I wish there was a number of e-learning platforms out there today, back when I started on this journey. But I want to help you guys achieve your goals this next year. That's the whole reason I started the holiday training giveaway. I want to get back to the community. I want to give you guys the tools to help achieve your career goals. Today's giveaway is a special one. CPT Nuggets is donating a six month subscription access through their entire online learning platform. If you're interested in signing up for the giveaway, the link is down in the description and you'll need the keyword goals to enter. So do you know what your goals are going to be for this year? and how you're gonna achieve them? Do you have IT certifications as one of your career goals? If so, what certifications are they? If you're unsure, you should go check out this next video where I did a lot of the research for you and broke down the top 10 IT certification categories. So make sure and watch this video next to make sure you're setting the best goals for this upcoming year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, keep learning.